In this video, I'll be doing a detailed solution to the maths question you see on the screen here from the Cambridge A-Level Mechanics Paper 4.3 from 2024. If you're looking for a different question from this paper or a different paper entirely, check out the description below. And if you find this or any of other videos on my channel useful and would like to help me out, the best thing you can do is share it with other people doing the exam. Perhaps if you're in a class WhatsApp group, share it there. Failing that, a like, a subscribe, or even a super thanks. In question seven, they set up uh, this sort of bowl situation here. We have an object there, a particle, a, a ball. They don't tell us the mass. That's probably gonna be a problem for some students. Um, it cancels out at all times, so you don't actually have to worry about the mass. But uh, still, some people worry about it. Um, but it's gonna fall down here, this smooth plane. That means there's no friction on A to B. Then it's going to continue on here where there is friction. Continue on up here, again there is friction. And um, in part A, actually, it's, we don't worry about stopping. Uh, presumably it's going to stop and fall back down. It does in part B. Uh, part A asks us, how far, where would this ball, um, or how do I say this, how far up this hill do we get when the speed is one? And that, that's it. So how do, we, how do we go about this question? Uh, you can use energy actually, uh, we have a, a height, we have an angle, we have a length, so we can get the height here. So we can get the energy in this system. We'd have to work out how much work is done uh, by the force of friction against the hair and here. Uh, but we can get the energy at the start, energy at the end. That's probably the best way to do it. I won't do it that way just because I think most students end up using forces uh, more. So let's let's do it that way. And how would how would I do that? A little more difficult, but I'd I'd set up three different worlds. Um, the first world coming down this hill, the second world going across this flat, and the third world here, um, going up this hill. And I just solve some uh, force equations for it, um, and some equations of motion. So let's, let me show you what I mean. In the first world, uh, what I would first do is find something about. I know uh, like, I know position, I know uh, initial speed, zero. But I'm starting to run out of information then. I only know two things. I'd love to find one more, and that one is, is acceleration, actually. And I find that just by setting up a force, uh, a force diagram, there is um, a force due to gravity acting on this, this guy. And, and that's it, there's no friction here. So all we really need to do is break this force um, into uh, one that comes down the hill here. So we know this angle in here is 30. So that's 60 and that's 30 here. So the opposite, we're looking for that. So that's sine. Um, so uh, this gravity down, well, let me first get this force down here. That's 10 times mass. I don't know the mass, but it's 10 times mass. Uh, the force in this direction would be 10 times mass sine 30. Sine 30 is a half, so that's actually just uh, five times the mass. That's the only force acting on this uh, thing. And remember, all the forces must equal ma. So that equals 5a, sorry, 5m. So a must be five. So that's really all we've done there. This, I mean, you don't have to do all this worky sum, I'm just trying to explain it. So that we know the acceleration. I know an initial speed is zero. I know a total distance, if I wanna find out at the end of this, I know the distance is two. Um, that's enough to find out everything. Uh, you can find out T. You actually don't need it for this one, but you could if you wanted, uh, or you can find out V. Um, I would say if you use the equation find t, you're going to get a quadratic, an easy quadratic. Actually, quadratic will have one zero in a hair because of this. Um, but you're going to find a quadratic. So I would just use the equation, uh, let's put it up here, v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. And that's the one I'm going to use every time here. So uh, v squared is just equal to zero, uh, two times five times uh, two is 20. V squared is equal to 20. V must equal square root of 20. Uh, you can this it'll be plus or minus, you could say, except uh, we, we understand that we're gonna be at positive speed here from the acceleration. That was, uh, that was world one. We just continued that on into world two. 
And let's see if we split this world up here and three over here. Uh, in world two, let's draw another diagram. Uh, we're coming across this flat plane this time. Uh, gravity will push down. Now friction will, will push against it. Uh, gravity will be 10 M this time. Friction is just, this is the only force, the only other force. So friction will be mu times 10 M. I know, sorry, we know mu is 0 0.1. So that'll just become M. The force going that way is M. Uh, so that means the total force is equal, well, let's call it minus M because we're going that direction, aren't we? Uh, minus M, uh, which must equal MA. So A must equal minus one. And we'll continue on, like uh, U in this, the start of this world must be the same as the end of that world. So square root of 20 and S, oh, the, the distance is still two. So distance still two. Do the same thing, V squared. V squared is equal to 20 uh, plus two times A uh, times uh, S. So that's minus four. That equals 16. Again, V, we know we're dealing with positive here. So uh, V equals four. Again, if acceleration continued going that way, uh, we'd get to a negative, but it wouldn't because the acceleration was coming from friction or decelerating it was coming from friction. That wouldn't automatically push you back. Anyway, we just get four. Uh, continue, continue that team on. Uh, let's do a diagram up here. Uh, we're going up the hill this time. Gravity's pushing us down. Uh, we split that into two things. Gravity goes this way. Um, it's the same numbers. We'll get 5m. This time we do care about gravity going into the hill because there's friction. So the into the hill will be 5m uh, square root of 3. Sorry, it'll be 10m cosine 30. Cosine 30 is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. That's a 5 square root of 3m. Sorry, I went a bit fast there. Uh, that's going to cause uh, friction. We're going up the hill, so friction is going to come this way, and that's going to be uh, 0 0.1, that's mu, times 5, times square root of 3, times m. That's friction. So a bit more complicated this time, but the total force uh, going down the hill, it'll be a minus again, will be uh, minus 5m, minus... Uh, That'd be 0 0.5 square root of 3 m. And that has to equal ma. m's cancel. And we're left with a is equal minus 5 minus square root of 3 over 2. That's just a half. 0 0.5 is a half. So that's this a. Bit more complicated this time, but still fine. Uh, u, the initial speed was the ending speed of the last one is equal to four. S, um, S, this is uh, too long, but we don't, we never actually get the D. They're asking us how far up we get. So we're looking for S this time. Uh, so they, we need something else. We only have two things here. They, they told us V, they told us, uh, the, they told us the speed would be one. Uh, that, at least the point they were interested in was the speed equals uh, one. So we have three things and we're looking for S. Uh, check out which equation works. The, the same one we've been using all along should work fine. Uh, let, me, let me put it in up here. V, yeah, let's put a block here. Uh, v squared is one squared equals U squared 16 uh, plus two times A. So that's this mess here, minus five minus uh, square root of three over two. Put that in a calculator, by the way, that's, that's just a normal number, uh, times S. So we're looking for S. Rearrange all that. We'll get S is equal, let's see, 1 minus uh, 16, minus 15, divided by 2 and divided by uh, this number here. Again, that's a calculator job. Put all that into a calculator. Remember that all the minuses end up cancelling. We get a positive and uh, let me see, what do we get? Uh, one point. 28 meters. So that's uh, how far up this hill we would get uh, until the speed is one. Part B is uh, basically the same question again, except this time uh, the coefficient of friction is different. So that changes a few things. So let's go over what happened last time. We rolled down the hill, we rolled here, 
we rolled um, a certain distance we found up this side until we were at a speed of uh, one meter per second. That's fine. Um, this time, what they're describing is we're falling down this hill, we're gonna have a, a bigger or, or lesser uh, friction. Actually, we know it's bigger because of the numbers we found in part A. Uh, we're gonna stay rolling here. We're gonna roll up this hill only to one meter up the hill. So we're only gonna get one meter up this hill before we stop. Uh, last time, what did we find? Was it uh, 1.28? We got 1.28 meters up and we were still going up. So definitely the friction has got uh, rougher. The ground's a lot rougher now. So we go up here and then we're gonna fall back down and we're gonna pass this point a second time and they wanna know the speed here and the roughness of all that. You'll be tempted to just start with like the speed zero at this point and falling down. Problem is, we, you won't have enough information. You'll have the uh, starting speed, you'll have a distance you're interested in, and, and that's it. Uh, a, you can find acceleration, but uh, you need the coefficient of friction to get the actual number. You're, you're looking for the V down the end. You certainly don't know how much time it takes. So no, we're gonna actually have to do the whole question again, just like we did in part A. With one difference, uh, part one is identical. The friction hasn't changed. So we'll start uh, part one with a speed of zero and we'll end it with a speed of uh, square root of 20. That's it there. We covered a distance of two. We had an acceleration of, I can't remember, was it 5m or five maybe? Yeah, it was acceleration of five. Yeah, let's put that in. Um, that's, that's fine, We're, we can keep that work. Everything else changes though. In uh, world two, we'll be like, it's all very similar, so I'll go fast. In world two, we still have a force going down. We still have a force of friction working against us. Uh, this friction is just, uh, well, the one going down is 10m. Uh, friction is just mu times 10m. And we manage to, we know that the total force is going in our direction, or it's, it's minus in this case. The total force would be F is equal minus uh, mu 10m. And we know that has to equal, equal ma, just as always, we cancel, we get a is equal minus uh, mu, 10 mu, I should have wrote really, that's a. Uh, we go ahead and try and find everything again. Uh, so u is equal square root of 20, uh, s is equal 2, what's v? Just as always, we get v squared is equal u squared, that's 20, I'm going a bit faster because it's so similar, uh, plus 2 times a, uh, a is minus 10 mu, uh, times uh, s. Let's clean that up, we get v squared is equal 20 minus 40 mu, and v is equal to the square root of that. But whatever, we'll, uh, we, we're, we're gonna end up squaring again, so it doesn't matter. That's v, well, let's go into the third world. Uh, let's give ourselves lots of room. Third world, we're going up the hill again, um, this time we have a final, we have a number to help us. We know the distance one up will end in a speed of zero. So maybe I should have spelt that out earlier. That's where I was getting to. I have information about here and I have information about here. I have to do the maths between there to link them together. Yeah, that's, I think that's a good way to explain it. Um, so what do we know here? We know uh, the distance. We know a distance of one going up this hill. We have a starting speed of this, uh, the ending one here, which is, uh, let's write it, square root of 20 minus 40 mu. Um, oh yeah, let's find the A like we've been doing before. So we have um, a gravitational force that's gonna be split into one going down here and one going this way. Um, this, this force will cause a frictional force. We're currently going up the hill, remember? Uh, we're going up the hill, so the frictional force will push us down. Um, this one was uh, worked out as five square root of three m, I think, didn't I? I'll, I'll check my notes here and correct if I'm wrong. And um, this force was just five m, and the frictional force is five square root of three times mu. Putting all that together, all the forces going down the hill, the total force in this system must equal minus five m. We're going down. Uh, we're going against uh, our motion minus uh, five square root of three m, and that has to equal to ma, m's cancel, a is equal minus five minus five 
square root of 3. Sorry, I'm uh, just checking my notes, missing a uh, mu here. Uh, where else was I missing that mu? Uh, up, ah, mu and an m up here, that's where I probably got wrong. Okay, so we have an a, we have an s, we have a u. We can get everything, well, sorry, we, we can get everything in, fo in form of, um, of mu, but now we actually also have a phi is zero. So sorry, we have three things then. We have, we have four things, one, two, three, four, and one unknown in all of them. So we can actually work all this out. Uh, let's use the equation we've always been using. Phi squared, zero, equals uh, u squared, that's 20 minus 40 mu, uh, plus two times a, a is minus five, minus five, square root three mu, uh, times s, s is one. That's one equation with one unknown. We can just rearrange this. Uh, I, I'll squeeze it in up here. Let's take all the mu's to the left side. We'll have a 40 mu, or sorry, let's, uh, let's write it like this. Let's write mu with a 40 in it. That'll be here, and here's another mu. That's a uh, two, times minus five times square root of three. So that's, uh, we'll get minus 10 square root of three. That's on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side will be 20 and uh, minus 10, minus 10. Put all that together, mu, sorry, mu is equal to, I guess, 10 divided by this. And then uh, let me just check my notes. Uh, it's, oh, I have a long number here. It says 0 0.1, uh, seven four the three significant figures. Let's put in a few more because we're going to use this number in a moment. Uh, because you're not finished yet, we still want to know the speed of it when it comes back down this hill. So we need a fourth world. I'll have to. I'll rub out down here. We want a fourth world where we start at zero speed. We roll down the hill. We uh, we'll have very similar but a little different forces, so we'll have to work out acceleration. Let, let me clear this off and we'll do it. Okay, this fourth uh, world, uh, we're gonna be sliding back down this hill. So let's uh, draw that. Uh, we'll have gravity once more. But here's the thing, friction will no longer be, friction here was stopping us going up. Friction's now stopping us go down. Um, and we'll get that friction from the, the force going into this hill, which will all be the same. This is 5m force. This one here is 5 square root of 3m. And this one here is mu, which we now know mu, by the way. Use the full number if you can, though. Uh, mu times 5 times square root of 3m going up the hill. So the acceleration here, or the total force, actually, let's just say, uh, you can have it as positive or negative. Once you keep once you keep track of what you're doing, I'll just say uh, going up the hill is positive though, for now. So I'll keep this as five square root of three mu m minus five m is equal m a a is equal uh, five square root of three mu. Remember, you know mu. That's just a number now. Uh, you can go ahead and put it in if you want, uh, and I guess use lots of decimal places. That's your acceleration down the hill. You know a starting speed, zero. You know a distance, uh, one. These are all, this is a, remember, this is a known number, three known numbers. All they want to do, do is find v, v at the bottom of this hill. Uh, so v squared is equal to u squared, zero, uh, plus two times uh, a, so that's uh, 10 square root of three mu minus 10, uh, multiplied by s, which is just one. So just put that into ground layer, or v is equal to square root of this guy. Okay, I'll write it again, a bit needless that. Uh, put all that into a calculator and uh, actually be careful, are we getting a minus number here? I think in my notes I got a minus number. If you get a minus number for v squared, um, it just, just use your common sense for when coming down the hill, if you know what I mean. Like we know we're going to be a positive number. Uh, and again, even if you get a positive here and you're getting the square root of it, you know you have to get a positive number. Well, you're getting a positive speed. So you can have a, you can have a negative velocity because you're going down the hill, but you uh, should have a positive speed. Um, anyway, either way, it, I got, uh, got 2.64 as my final answer. Okay, that's it for question seven. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.